What's up, you guys? It's Julian. Today, I'm super excited to be showing you how to make techno with guitar pedals. So the good folks over at Vongon were kind enough to send over this Paragraphs. It's a sick low-pass filter pedal with an LFO on it and some drive. Essentially, you can create literally every element you would need for a techno track just using this, not even with any input. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to create a bunch of sounds in this. We're going to bring them into Ableton, and then I'm going to show you how to sequence them. Once again, thank you to Von Gun for sending this over. It's a sick pedal. I'll have the link in the description. You can use this for almost anything, and you can do a lot more than just low passing with it. That's for sure. I'm going to have the full template that I'm about to create at the top of the description as well. So then we go grab that on my website and follow along. Thanks for the support, guys. Thanks to Von Gun, and let's dive in. Alright, so I've got Ableton recording already, right? We're gonna make sure of that. Always record everything, and we're gonna start out by making a kick. Now, this thing can make really good kicks, and obviously that's the foundation of any good techno track. So we're gonna turn it on. Okay, we've already got... We're gonna turn the drive up, so it's gonna start pushing itself. We're gonna keep the cutoff low, bring up the resonance, Check out what happens when I bring up this amount. Right, and just bring it so it's not clipping. And the cutoff is essentially like the pitch of the kick. Okay, so we got a few kicks to choose from. Now let's make some hi-hats. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the same thing going. But we're going to bring the cutoff up. Bring the resonance down a little bit. Alright, so there's a few little hi-hats. And now also, a lot of these, like, we can take a sound like that and we can turn it into hi-hats inside of the computer. So, I'm gonna work with that. Now, we need a synth. So, let's play around with these LFO settings, the rise and the fall, and see if we can create, like, a cool synth line. So you see, once you start tweaking this, you're getting... This isn't just a low-pass filter, you know? Alright, let's turn that into a track. So starting out with the kick, let's go ahead and just bring this volume down a little bit. Let's find one of these kicks that sounds good. Alright, one of those. Alright, and then we're going to just drag that up to a MIDI track. And find the kick in there. Alright, now 145 BPM. All 
Okay, so I got the kick. I'm taking this little filter from the beginning. This we were just playing around, but it sounds kind of cool. Let's try tweaking it a bit. Like I'm gonna pitch it down a little bit and try distorting it some more. We got some vibes to start out with. Now let's get the hi hats that I made. See, I'm using this auto pan to kind of turn it into hi hats. <laughs> All right, let's get our main hi hat. behind that to just kind of help it out a little. Alright, there we go. We got pretty cool techno going so far. Now let's use those synth lines that I made. Let's master it a little bit.
And there we are. So that is how you make techno with a guitar pedal. As you can see, you can make techno with almost anything. And you really just need a solid kick and some good drums and a cool, interesting synth line like this. Doesn't matter if it's a low pass filter pedal, if it's a looper pedal, if it's literally a duck screaming. It doesn't matter what the sound is. You can turn it into techno. I promise you. I want to give a big thanks again to Von Gon for sending over Paragraphs. It is the best low-pass filter out there, and it'll do a whole lot more than just that. I promise if you check it out, you won't be disappointed. The link will be at the top of the description. I'll also have the link at the top of the description for this template, so you can use this whole recording plus this whole Ableton file and build your own track and learn from it. Link's at the top of the description. Thanks for the support, everybody. Make sure to like this video as well as subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.